Well, hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem, and you're probably wondering exactly just where the hell the next video in the series about how to build a vacuum tube Tesla coil has gone. Well, to be honest, I've had a bit of a catastrophe in here regarding the Tesla coil. Nothing major, but unfortunately, for one thing, these are not the best kind of capacitors to use, so I'm going to have to order some more, some proper pr polypropylene, or however you say it, capacitors. Also, the real catastrophe is with my secondary. Now, the issue with the secondary is that I noticed that in a previous run, it was getting really hot, about maybe four-fifths of the way up, maybe two-thirds of the way up, somewhere around that area, and taking a closer look at the secondary, I can see that the tape that I put around it has all sort of just melted away in that area, like you can see right there. And when I unraveled that secondary, I found a boatload of cross turns there. I mean, you would not believe it. That means that the insulation would have all been stripped off the wire there by the corona, and it would have been shorting out, and it wouldn't be operating at its full potential, and, uh, well, I've just had to throw that secondary away and start again. So, this is the replacement secondary that I wound, only to find that this one is no good either. The resonant frequency is way too high for me to do anything with, and with the primary that I've got, it would mean that I would need a 200 picofarad capacitor as my tank capacitor, which I decided to make two of. You can see one here and one here. This one couldn't handle it, so that's why I made this one here, which also couldn't handle it. Instead of having a capacitor, I ended up with an ozone generator. That's why I haven't made the second part of the Tesla coil video, because I've had a bit of bad luck with my capacitors and my secondaries. You're basically looking at somebody here who has a budget of nothing. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the money to get all the proper capacitors that I'm going to need. I mean, that's going to cost me over 20 quid, or Twenty pounds, rather, to get those. Now, one of you mentioned that they're dirt cheap, but I don't consider twenty pounds for you know fifty capacitors when all these ones here only cost me a fiver. I'm going to look on some other places like Farnell and Mauser and you know other places on the internet, see where I can find them the cheapest, and then I'll get them from there. But like I said, I. Now that is when I have money to buy them. And also I am going to wind a new secondary. Unfortunately I haven't really found anything good enough to wind the secondary on. I mean cardboard tubes are okay but you've got to remember when you're winding the wire on there it's going to compress that down and the windings that you wound earlier they're going to become all loose and really plastic pipe is the best kind of thing to use, but trying to find the right kind of plastic pipe locally is kind of difficult. I mean, I checked the local hardware store and they do have some two inch diameter pipe, but unfortunately it's black, which means it will probably have carbon in there, which is electrically conductive and really not the kind, not the best kind of plastic to use for a secondary tester coil former, so I'm gonna have to look around a bit more, see if I can find anything better. So, you know, that as much as anything is delaying the video, just trying to find something to wind the secondary on. But when I do find something and when I've got the capacitors, I will get back to that video. So don't worry about that. It is coming. I just don't know when. Also, when I finish this, when I finish this tester coil, I'm going to build a solid state one as well. So that means more things I'm going to have to buy, such as MOSFETs, gate driver ICs, logic ICs, and things like that. So, you know, that's going to take a while as well. But anyway, my train of thought is running out. My mouth is running dry. 
I just thought I'd just put this video out to tell you what's actually going on, and I will see you in the next video, which is going to be about repairing my computer monitor. So, until next time, goodbye.